Hello everybeen and welcome back to 2064. It has been a while since I've uploaded and that is a lot of personal things that have gone on but I'm very happy to be back uh, recording and hopefully finishing this game. In the last episode, uh, I believe what we did is that we discovered the secrets and where we need to go, and so now we are recruiting Bean so we can go to the place that we need to. <clears throat> Dear me. We know. Hmm. Hmm. Go ahead, then. Um, we were hoping to use your hybrid contact for something. We were hoping to persuade your... <laughs> Hoping to use a hybrid hybrid contact for something. Sorry, do you want to use my friends? I'm sorry, we're not objects to be used. Hey, Bubblehead, you're not chatty. Give me the whole situation in three senses or less. Go. Um, Parallax is launching a new powerful machine intelligence onto the mesh. We want to stop it. We need to pick up a. We need to. We need you to pick a fight with the human revolution as a as a distraction, so we can break into the par into Parallax without getting arrested. And why exactly should I risk my people and career for this? Our entire movement. First you want to steal my car, now incite riots. What kind of tech could be worth beings lives? I'll say this one. You're, you already know the general public doesn't really think of, think of hybrids as human. They'll, look, they'll lock down rights of all the beings they fear. Hybrids will become the enemies of the state. Shoot. Things could get could get worse than they are, Jess. Way worse. Oh, cut the just cut it. I can't stomach another moment of your insecurity. I will literally puke. So, hypothetically, what exactly would you have me do? We need you to call in some help with your contacts and help them stir up trouble with the human revolution. We'll ensure our contacts inside the HR will be ready to escalate the protests at least enough to draw an increased police presence. That should buy us enough breathing room we need, nothing too wild, but enough to draw away their attention. I figured it would be something like that. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Let me, let me make some calls. Let's get this straight, though. I'm doing this for me and my beans. I'm putting my reputation and career on the line here. You're asking me to start stuff with the police. If you ha if you mess me up on this, I will make you regret it. I assure you, Miss Miss Mays, we will not mess with you. Although to be fair, I am not entirely sure what that means. Right. I was tired of pl of playing the public relation game with those human revolution beings anyway. Time to crack some skulls. That's the way. That's the way to be. <laughs> Good call, keeping her in the dark about the real plan. You're right about that. Does she really think I'm not too chatty? <clears throat> aside, that aside, let's get going. We should, we should keep all chat. We shouldn't keep Chad and Oliver waiting any longer. They're likely to wander away if they get bored. And good point. What is going on, Detective Rivers? We, we weren't expect. Yeah, I bet you weren't. Just, just stop it, please. Do you even realize how big of a hornet's nest you kicked when knocking over that data center? I'm assuring that w I'm assuming that was you, yeah. My superior came and yanked me away from all my work on Hayden as soon as we got the call. Told me it was politically unwise to keep digging. So now I'm officially grounded and I know there's something you're not telling me, so don't try and hide it. I probably could have could have been more useful all along all along if you'd loop me in. We're sorry for keeping you in the dark. We found out that Hayden had been killed by some being at Parallax and we are now on the move to stop them from doing worse. Wait, what? I, I was hoping you were about to tell me that all oh, this was some ruse when you're Pulitzer. This is about justice, not profit. Yes, we need to make sure justice is delivered. And I'm betting that raiding the data center was only step one in your two-step plan to really get in trouble, yeah? Alright then. I'm in. Really? That's awesome. Oh, oh yeah. That's more like it, yeah. <laughs> Sunbeam has always got, has to keep you from getting yourself, in, getting yourself killed, whole real. <laughs> Your sister will never forgive me, and we just start talking again. Besides, I'm occasionally fond of you as well. What? To heck with the badge. I'm tired of getting, 
of being a corporate pawn shoved around by whomever is in the deepest pockets. I got into this job to help beans and I'm done and I've done too little of that lately. I am in. This is awesome. Oh, we we love you so much. Just like that? <laughs> Just like that. What's the point? This is awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. I love this. What item yet? They're about to launch the first independent machine intelligence as a data collecting agent on the mesh. They're worried that Congress will shut them down if they find out how powerful it is. I'm guessing a, I'm guessing we're a little more worried than they won't th that they won't. That's some big brother stuff right there. Precisely. With that data we stole, we should be able to shut down the program from inside Parallax's main server center. It's messier than that, but that's the gist of it. Okay, message me when you're message me where to meet up. Oh, by the way, call your sister. She misses you. Um, yeah, okay. Thanks, Lexi. Yeah. Seeing your ugly mug push me into calling her, so it's only fair. <laughs> Maybe things will be different this time. That's enough talking. I'm heading back to the station to keep an eye on things. See you when it's time. And sorry about your friend, Hayden. We're going to finish this. Bye, Detective Rivers. I'm so happy right now. You don't understand. We'll talk to Oliver. How's it sinking? Yes, how are you? Busy. We're hoping you can enlist your aid again. Y'all need some kind of fake IDs or something? Or maybe something third third hand VR dramas? Third hand? Y yeah, you know, like, you know, guy I know found them when they fell off the back of a truck. I thought VR dramas were distributed primarily over the mesh. I ignore him. I made the mistake of convincing him to watch some turn of the century mobster movies with me. I regrettably I regret it instantly. Hey, I really like that one with the dude from Montana in it. Whatever, so what you jerks need, since apparently my VR dramas ain't do ain't good enough. Well, we're hoping you can be engaging in some more activity of dubious legality. <laughs> we're wondering if you wouldn't mind helping to be an distraction to keep the police out of the way. Y'all gonna hit those parallax beans where they that did your dad in? Yes, exactly. That was that was surprisingly accurate. He's smarter than he pretends to be. Do you have a plan in mind already? Um, hmm, what could they do? We just need Chad in there. No, it come <laughs> Chad there do it comes snatch. We just need you to make some noise. Nothing too dangerous. Yeah, but danger is my middle name. No, it's not. It's Francis. Don't tell him. Shut up, Oliver. We just need you to gather a bunch of, um, like-minded individuals. Bring them to market and pal. We want you to start a fake riot with all the other folks we gather so the police will mobilize there. A group of pirates will be waiting to fight back. Um, as much as we'd like to, we'll do it. <laughs> no, we won't. What? What? <laughs> Chad, along with a lot of the harebrained schemes you cook up, but not this time. We barely managed to get out of the last hole you dug. You promised we would, were done with the human revolution. But Ollie... No, no buts. Turing, I'm sorry. I know you need help, but we cannot stick our neck some in this. Yeah, yeah, okay. You're right, Ollie. Sorry, Turing, your friend's a jerk, but you two... Sorry, your friend's a jerk, but two of you are good looking out for yourselves, right? It's, it's turned British. I don't know how it did that. You can pull through, right? I would. I would never want you to put yourself in undue risk. We'll figure this out. Thank you, Start. <laughs> hey, you call me it. Cool. <laughs> anyway, we've got a jet. Don't be a stranger, bobblehead. You've got my contact. It, it has turned British. I don't know. I guess we'll, we will indeed. Smell you later. Mm. <laughs> and there they go. Awesome. Well, that didn't go as we hoped. Frankly, I'm not surprised. Your personality may lead to things getting done, but it hardly uh, engenders engenders much lo loyalty. Perhaps you should remember that honey catches more flies than vinegar. Well, I don't feel like that. I, I wouldn't have wanted them to risk themselves e either way. All right, guess we're going to the hospital now. Awesome. Who is this? Decker. Oh, hey, funny seeing you two here. What can I help you with today? There seems to be developments that we need to let Dr. Fairlight know about. Could you show us to him? Oh, we need to talk to you. 
Um, no, cannot, can't, no can do, I, I'm afraid. Fairlight's speaking about really important holiday benefit, and he'll have my for dinner if I interrupt him for anything, and I mean anything. So, if something I can help you with, Fairlight's has kept me fairly sweet with your situation. Really? We really should see Dr. Fairlight directly. Well, you should wait for the event to finish, but those usually wait until past midnight. I'm honestly surprised the old man can manage them these days. We don't have that kind of time. Uh, then... Okay, we'll tell you. <laughs> Great, I'm happy to listen. We recently discovered that Hayden might have been removed because he was interfering with Secret Project Parallax's launching. They've, developing, they've developed a network machine intelligence that they're about to release onto the mesh. We are hoping that Dr. Fairlight could give us uh, a way in so we can shut it down. I cannot overstate the danger of Parallax having control of this entity. Whew, you weren't kidding, would you, were you? Uh, the comment? The com what? So now you will call Dr. Fairlight? Actually, this goes a bit, it goes a bit, a bit above and beyond that. I don't think I can tell Yannick about this. Really? What? Why not? Look, you know what I know, that the old man's itching to get back at the helm of Parallax. He plays a good game of ceremonial rib rib ribbon cutting, but he's definitely sniffing around for way too... He's definitely... If there's a whiff that he's orchestrated this, he'll be done for. It's a win-win for all of us, right? I, I... I guess so? Sure, whatever. Uh, it's all clandestine. What do you... Th what do you suggest? Yannick pays me so when... So that when stuff hits the fan, I can take care of it without him hearing about it. Usually it's errands, but stuff like this also falls in the job description. My military training should be more than enough to get us into the server mainframe without insider info. And once we're in, we can clean this mess right up. Uh, right at white right while making another one. I guess we really... Yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll trust you. That's the spirit. I knew you'd see it my way. We'll do this right and make sure launch crash tomorrow. And Yannick will be, Yannick will be able to buy out enough shares to get a seat back on the board. Well, that's the last of the beans I think we can recruit. Let's head to Parallax now. For now, I'll message Detective Rivers, and we can wait for Mr. Decker to catch up with us there. Tomcat should be done with their programming soon, and then we'll head in. Is that everything? I hope so. We got, we get one shot here. Ready? Here we are. Awesome. Ah, Detective Rivers, I see you've beaten us here. Wanted to get the lay of the land before anybody else showed up. When, when, when are we ready to head in? We're waiting for one other bean, and then we need to just get our distraction game going. What are... Speak of the devil. Ah, Mr. Decker, precisely. Detective Rivers, allow me to introduce you to... I know who he is. Leon Dexter, ex-Marine, served North Korea, record, record heavily redacted. And working for Gang Fairlight, who I'm sure is willing to help us out of his kindness of his heart, yeah? You have me at a disadvantage, miss. Though, let's drop the pretenses. Hmm, I've never made secret of Yank's goals here. He needs Parallax mounted down for a whittle for him to get his chair back and then make some dangerous software. <laughs> and I'm sure it's all laid... That's all your cards laid out to the table, huh? We're one on the same side. Simple as that. You sure you want to work with this guy, Turing? I don't like the look of him. You've got good eyes, Detective. They're new. Ahem, yes, Detective Liver Rivers, I believe Mr. Decker will prove invaluable on this mission. Statistically, we're an entire 17% more likely to succeed with ex his expertise. Fine, we'll play it your way. Great, what's the plan, little guy? Tomcat and I have been able to, unable to find the precise schematics of the storm drains as they underwent some modifications when Parallax began construction here. But the city's primary power and communication lines still run parallel along them for maintenance purposes. The server center is certain to be set adjacent to the tunnel complex to allow easier connection. If we make our way through the drains, we should be able to exit at least close to the new server building. That will get us past the worst of exterior alarms in defense of the complex. They don't have security alarms in the storm drains? Well, they probably do, but it's unlikely they're in good repair. The water level rises frequently, and maintenance is usually only handled during the dry season in the middle of the summer. The moving water should be enormous, should give an enormous amount of false positives. Good point. We'll have to give more, move more quickly since the rain upstreams will cause erratic surges in the water level. What about this server building? What are, what are our plans for it? Do we have plans for it? Any info on the guard rotations? Construction on this 
on that finish only last year. It's state of the art currently and currently services the primary ROM control and distribution network. Based on what I've learned, I'm assuming it was built primarily to give Big Blue enough power to sift through all the data on the network. That's the AI, right? Right. The entire facility is automated, security, maintenance, even new construction, all run by ROMs. There might be a single human engineer on site to take care of the, anything the ROMs can't figure out, but we shouldn't have to worry about any intervention. At least, not immediately. I think we can handle some robots, assuming Leon is as good a shot as a blank marks in his file suggests. <laughs> Let's hope we don't have to find them, ma'am. <laughs> Once we make our way to the primary server control center, I can link myself to the network and Tomcat can do their magic. That's all we have to do. That's an awful lot of question marks for the Prophet, but we'll figure it out. Anything you'd like to add, Horville? Um... Let's see, what do we do if we run in? We'll probably be fine. We have a little taser. How are we getting out? Do we have a backup plan? How are we getting out? I'll buy us some time one way or another. At the very least, we should be able to bluff our way out with, with my badge. There'll be heck to pay later, but we'll make out with our hides intact. We can just pretend I'm the bad guy, slap some cuffs on me, and can get the get me out of it. Hey, uh, sounds like a plan, Mr. Decker. <laughs> yeah, I won't have to pretend much for that. Um, do we have a backup plan? If worse comes worse, Tomcat should be able to damage the servers in some way. We won't be able to stop Parallax completely, but it'll slow them down. It might be even enough to buy us some, some some escape time, since they'll be too busy trying to keep the racks from melting down. True. What do we do if we run into Sunbeam? That's what the stunners are for. They'll do bad things to Rons, but yeah, yeah. Discombobulate. <laughs> Just come on. <laughs> Trust me, I doubt any beans die from good, combob good combobulation. Not it, humans, at least. That covers it. Okay, let's call. Let, let me call Jesse. Get our distraction going. Hello, Jess. Oh, oh my God, God! Did the robot really just call me? How do we even get to pr get my personal line? Um, you know what? Never mind. One more thing. I'll have to. One more thing to have my tech guy handle after the CTV. Cameras all mysteriously lose connection to the mesh. Jess, we're calling to. I know why you're calling. Sorry, I can't really talk right now. I'm in the middle of inciting a riot and putting my friends in danger. Let's get this going, people. Let's get those revolution scum the real future of the humanity of human. Whatever, whatever that said. <laughs> I I believe in Jess very strongly. Good to hear you have things in hand. Oh, oh yeah, all under control. Pass on, pass on my love. Oh. <laughs> Pass on my love, in case I didn't say it before. I, I believe in you. Prick. <laughs> Alright, awesome. Uh, right. We're good to go. Awesome. Let's hurry. What kind of bush is that, you know? I want to talk to Lexi. Can I talk to Lexi? Hey. Well, how... <laughs> Glad to see you're right now. Howdy, partner. Don't joke. Doing this is risky. Really risky. It goes against every protocol. Completely violates everything I was taught to do. But you know what? After going through all this with you, now that it's personal, I'm glad that I stuck around. I appreciate you letting me do my job and follow orders, even when it's done. And maybe you were right in the end. Maybe everything I was taught is just messed up. I always joke I'm too much of a cowboy for the police force, but I guess I really am after all. So what does this mean for your career? I've been thinking I could take off, quit the force outright, find another way. I need to be able to use my talent to actually help people. I'll figure it out. Let's go ahead and move on. Ready to go? Now, if I have my phone with me, which I really hope I do, I don't have a phone, what am I talking about? Well, I think I will end this episode here. It's a good comeback for both the channel and also the series. I don't want to end it all right now, because that would be a bit too sudden, I would believe. But, 
It's been really nice coming back to record again. It's been a long time since I've recorded, maybe since like late August. And so now being able to do stuff after September has passed and the many event personal things that have happened, very happy to, um, you know, be here. So anyways, hopefully you enjoyed. I know I did. Um, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully you enjoyed again, and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye, Nya.